Hey guys, it's Michael Stewart with another quick Corel Painter Pro tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at the text cutter tool and how it works. So, basically, what it does, it allows you to add images inside the shape of a text or use text to cut out an image in the in the shape of the text. So, let's demonstrate this. So, here I have an image that I found online of some roses. So, I'm going to copy copy the image paste as a new image paste as a new image so go up to edit paste as new image once I have that there I just simply go to the text tool or I can hit T as a shortcut to access the text tool so I'm going to write the click on the image so it, it appears as a new vector layer above the 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 background image so since this is these are roses, let's type in love. I mean love roses represent loves um love right. So just resizing it by scaling it, dragging in the edges. We could use the font size tool, but this is quicker for me. So I have the word love here, right? So after doing that, you go you would go to the pick tool and ensure that you put it somewhere that has the desired um, background then you go back to the text tool so hit T go back to the text tool and then you see this option available the text cutter tool so you hit this once you hit that it will automatically cut out the image in the shape of the text that you have um, and then it places it into a new image file. So there you can go back to the pick tool, hit copy, and even place it in a new the image the text that you have with the background embedded in it in a new text file in a new um, work here. So copy control C to paste. And there we have it. So we could even add a background. Let's add a gradient background. So gradient that should be able to show nicely on this. And there we have it. Love. So if we wish now, we could add some more stuff to to this, like um, 3D effect drop shadow, just to give it some life. And there you have it. So that's how to use the text cutter tool in Corel Painter Pro X8. Please subscribe for more videos. I know I haven't been posting videos as often as I should, but I'm back on track now. So please subscribe to see weekly videos of how to use Corel Painter Pro, especially for graphic design purposes. Because I know most persons use Photoshop and this is an equally um, capable software for that kind of purpose. And of course, I'll add in a little photo editing. So stay cool and thanks for watching.